walang fair play for all foundation na ang bawat bata ay dapat mapagkalooban ng karapatang mabuhay. Naninindigan sila na kahit ano pa ang kalagayan sa buhay ng isang kabataan, sila ay maaaring matulungan upang magkaroon ng kontrol sa kanilang buhay at makatulong sa kanilang mahal sa buhay. Sa pamamagitan ng larong football, hinuhubog ng FFA ang kaisipan ng mga kabataan para mailayo sa masasamang bisyo at sa kawalang pag-asa. Sa Bayatas, Quezon City matatagpuan ang pinakamalaking dump site sa Metro Manila kung saan maraming mga kababayan natin ang nabubuhay sa pamamagitan ng pagpapasura. Dito ay kasama ang maraming mga kabataan. Ito ang napiling lugar ng FFA para lingapin ang mga kabataan at ang buong komunidad nito. Sa naging pagsigat at pagbibigay ng pag-asa ng grupong ASCAL sa mga Pilipino, naniniwala ang FFA na isa itong maparaang hakbang upang baguhin ang mindset ng mga kabataan. Bukod sa football, may drop-in center din ng FFA para sa mga batang kalye kung saan sinusuri kung ano ang kanilang sitwasyon. Ito ay sa pakipagtulungan ng isang social worker, dito ay nabibigyan din ng pagkain ng mga street children. Nais din ng FFA na maiangat ang awareness ng mga Pilipino ukol sa problema sa kahirapan at kung ano ang pwedeng magawa ng bawat isa upang makatulong na ibsan ito. Makisali sa kwentuhan ni Roy Moore ng FFA at ni Miss Elaine Fuentes. Ako si Jinky Perlustica at approve sa amin ang FFA Foundation. Ang kasama natin ngayon ay ang Fair Play for All at uh, si Mr. Roy Moore, ang Executive Director ng FFA. Welcome and good afternoon. Thank you. Magandang po. Okay. Yan, Tagalog na. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Roy Moore uh, has been in the country for how many years now? Uh, three years. Now. Three years. Uh, you've gone back to England because you're uh, an Englishman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. There was a perception before that you were from America. Oh, I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> okay. uh, I've got a very British accent. It's quite distinctive still. Um, it is. Yeah, although when I go back to England, uh, sometimes because it's it's been corrupted, let's say. <laughs> it's, uh, they don't think I'm English anymore. Right. I was in a, a classroom with some kids uh, doing a presentation mm -hmm. on the foundation. So, excuse me, sir, where are you from? <laughs> where do you think I'm from? Australia? No, no, just up the road from you. I live like just around the corner from them as right. a child. And, I can kind of sort of yeah. detect a little bit of a change from what uh, most people will be used to when you talk about the English accent. <laughs> There's yeah. that Filipino twang now. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I guess that means I'm a silly mate. Okay. That's, that's good. You do know how to speak a little bit of Tagalog. Uh, siguro konti lang. Okay. Me medyo, medyo, <laughs> medyo, medyo, konti, konti. Medyo, medyo. But uh, <laughs> conversation-wise, you can mm. hold a conversation in Tagalog. Uh, sana po. Uh, kasi yung mga bata doon sa Payata, hindi sila murunong English. So pagturang ko sila sa football or sa drop-in center, dapat sa Tagalog. Okay. Now, you okay. mentioned Payatas mm -hmm. already, okay? Um, most people in the Philippines know what Payatas is like, okay? And you chose Payatas because? Um, precisely because of what it is like. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's an area that's fallen, it's, it's left behind by society, generally mm -hmm. speaking. Uh, it's right next to the Payatas dump site, which is still the biggest open dump site in the Philippines. Right. Uh, and so... Uh, actually, one of my university studies uh, mm. found that there was about two-thirds of the people there were living below the national line of poverty. Yes. It's, um, a lot of these people don't get accounted for either in the official right. statistics. So you'll never see any census stickers in the houses. Right. They don't get included in any poverty counts. Right. And so these are the people who've been left behind. So they're outside of the radar. So yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, you come from England. Yep. We all know that England is a, a first world country. What are you doing in the Philippines? <laughs> what is your business here? I'm trying to make up for what the British did before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, um, the, uh, England is, is a first world country, generally uh, speaking, although um, I grew up in a family which, by English standards, is quite working class. Okay. Um, but so, so we had, uh, at first we had the idea that we were struggling it was difficult to get by but then as i grew up um, being able to see more of the world see how life is for really the majority of people throughout the world right. uh, i just figured that it's just simply not fair that some people have to live like this because of where they're born okay uh, and so i wanted to get involved change the situation as much as possible and so really the foundation uh,